Samsung just announced two new laptops, the Galaxy Book Pro and Galaxy Book Pro 360. And these might be the most exciting laptops that Samsung has ever made. This is Luke with Digital Trends, and we got to check out Samsung's brand new laptops in their Galaxy lineup. And I think a lot of the Galaxy smartphone fans out there are gonna like what they see. Before we get to that though, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, because you know we're gonna be doing a full review of these new laptops once we can spend some more time with them, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So Samsung has just had another one of its Galaxy Unpacked events. It's actually the third product event they've had in 2021 already, if you can believe that. But this one was different. It was the first Galaxy Unpacked event solely focused on laptops. So you know, Samsung was planning something big. After numerous leaks, we finally got our hands on the Galaxy Book Pro and Galaxy Book Pro 360, which both come with a redesigned super portable chassis and new AMOLED screens. More than any other laptop that Samsung has released, these are starting to feel like proper counterparts worthy of the Galaxy brand. Now, the first thing to notice about the design itself is just how portable these new laptops are. The 13-inch version of the Galaxy Book Pro weighs just 1.9 pounds, which Samsung notes is the weight of a large iced coffee. That is crazy light, like even lighter than the Galaxy Book S and the ThinkPad X1 Nano. It's also just 0.45 inches thick, making it one of the very thinnest laptops you can buy right now. And that might justifiably make you a little skeptical. In years past, when a laptop was this tiny, it came with all sorts of compromises, such as lack of ports and poor performance, or maybe even a flimsy build quality or an uncomfortable keyboard. But the Galaxy Book Pro sidesteps almost all of these pitfalls. First off, it comes with a full set of ports, including USB-A, HDMI, USB-C, a micro SD card slot, and a headphone jack, totally debunking the excuse that newer laptops are too thin to include a robust selection of ports, including laptops like the Galaxy Book Pro 360, which for some reason limits you to just the Thunderbolt USB-C ports. The Galaxy Book Pro 360 is also not quite as thin or light as the clamshell model, but it's your only choice if you want a touchscreen and the S Pen support. Speaking of the S Pen, it's no longer housed in the chassis itself, but it does come bundled when you buy the Galaxy Book Pro 360 and you can magnetize it to the side of the device for storage. On the performance side of things, both of these new Samsung laptops serve up the latest 11th gen Intel Tiger Lake processors, either the Core 5 or the Core i7. So they should be every bit as powerful as systems like the XPS 13 or the Spectre X360, despite being a lot thinner. And they include the Iris XE integrated graphics. Now I'd like to have seen a Ryzen 5000 option, obviously, but right now this lineup is exclusively Intel. Because of the lack of size, this is never going to be a powerhouse workstation type 15 inch laptop. In that sense, it's more like the Surface Laptop 4 than the XPS 15, but Intel's 11th gen processor should be able to handle some lighter work in Adobe Creative Suite when you need it. And then there's the build quality and keyboard issue. The entire chassis has been redesigned from scratch, like I said, so there's very little in common here with the previous Galaxy Book Ion or Galaxy Book Flex. This new chassis is built with 6000 series aluminum alloy for the purpose of making the laptop both super light and fairly rigid. The keyboard, meanwhile, features one millimeter of key travel, which matches what you get on laptops like the XPS 13. The touchpad is also nice and large, though it doesn't charge your phone anymore, which was an interesting little feature of the Galaxy Book Ion and Galaxy Book Flex. Now, not everything here is a slam dunk about these two new laptops. First off, I was a bit surprised to see that Samsung was sticking with the 16 by nine aspect ratio. Nearly all of its competitors at this point have moved to 16 by 10 or three by two, which are taller sizes that provide a bit more vertical screen real estate. Samsung says the focus with these laptops was on entertainment, surprisingly, meaning they were gonna stick with 16 by nine for now, which results in a rather large bottom bezel. It's not exactly the most modern look these flagship laptops should be sporting. The AMOLED panel does look impressive though, and I was happy to see that it's being offered in all configurations, including that base 13 inch version, which comes in under $1,000, making it one of the cheapest OLED laptops ever made. And the reason it's so cheap is because this is using a 1080p screen in both the 13 and 15 inch models. For a lot of people, that's going to be just what they need, but I am a little disappointed that 4K options won't also be available. It's understandable on the 13 inch model, but I really would have liked to see a 4K option using that AMOLED panel on the 15 inch size, especially for photographers and designers and really anybody that can appreciate the extra sharpness.
Now there's a bunch of more cool stuff about these new laptops, including support for both Wi-Fi 60 and an option for 5G connectivity. And there are even some interesting Galaxy ecosystem features, such as using a Galaxy Tab S as a second screen and controlling lights or other smart things devices from your PC. I can't wait to get these devices in for a full review to give a proper test of things like battery life and performance. But for now, they look like some competitive new devices that have a unique Galaxy flair to them, which is something a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. And they prove that Samsung might finally be getting serious about laptops. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. These new laptops go on sale on May 14th, and I'm curious, are you interested in picking up one of these laptops and why? So leave me a comment down below. I'll be hanging out down there answering any questions about these new laptops you might have. And while you're there, make sure to hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos from Digital Trends.